upcoming stars, Democrats and Republicans will have to see the national conventions from home. Political specialist Sean Boyd checked in with Democratic Colorado Congressman Ed Perlmutter about the change as the DNC is underway. Congressman Ed Perlmutter, thank you so much for joining me. You know, normally I would have been interviewing you in Milwaukee right now, but here we are, virtual interview, just like the entire Democratic National Convention this year is virtual. You know, in addition to losing the energy that comes with that big in-person event, you know, the rock the rafters kind of event, we also lose that opportunity to hear from up and coming stars in the party. In, Remember 2004, then Senator Barack Obama. What, what do you think is the biggest downside to not having an in-person convention? Well, the in-person convention, the biggest downside is not to be there in person, not to be with people, not to have the relationship building, not to hear from these speakers uh, personally, not to feel the energy. So there are a lot of downsides, but we're in a different time right now with this darn pandemic. and you know, much of the universe is uh, dealing with it virtually through Zooms and, and other kinds of platforms. So, you know, you got to just uh, make the best of the situation. And there are going to be many, many speakers. Uh, it will be much more sort of uh, television type of thing with, you know, uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez or Amy Klobuchar or Barack Obama or different speakers uh, coming uh, to the convention by Zoom. And uh, I think there's still going to be plenty of energy. There's going to be certainly some great discussions and conversations and uh, a lot of uh, uh, motivation. If people aren't already motivated uh, to get out and vote in this election, there's going to be a lot more uh, once uh, Thursday comes and Joe Biden accepts the nomination. You know, Joe Biden. Kamala Harris, what did they bring to this campaign? Uh, they bring individual. Uh, the Joe Biden and 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 Kamala bring a, a couple things that I think are very important. Uh, Biden brings a certain calming influence uh, that is the opposite of uh, the president, who thrives on chaos. And I think people really want to know that there's steady leadership at the helm, and not this erratic. Uh, chaotic kind of leadership that we've seen come from Donald Trump. Uh, Kamala Harris brings energy, excitement, enthusiasm, and a brightness uh, that I think will uh, really energize people from coast to coast and all around the world, that there will be a sense of, okay, America is back to a real leadership uh, role, uh, both for us as Americans, but also for the world uh, at large, instead of just, you know, go from one thing to another and, and uh, in a chaotic way. So I, I think we bring, they bring experience, they bring energy, and they bring a sense of confidence and calm uh, that America needs right now. You talk about one thing to another, and we are facing a number of crises right now. What, what is the biggest issue, do you think, in this election? Oh, the biggest issue is uh, the pandemic and its effect on the economy. So two things. One, getting this, this health care crisis uh, that we face and have faced now for the last five or six months. I'm speaking to you virtually. Uh, different interviews that we've had have been uh, virtual over the last few months. We need to get that under control so that the blow that has occurred to the economy, we can really start rebuilding it. We see little signs of uh, positive uh, effects on the economy, but then we see where it kind of falls back. And we really have to get this virus under control uh, to be able to really get the economy up and running again. So despite COVID, the convention is going on, but you know some people are frankly worried about the election with the situation with the US Postal Service. What do you say to them? Where are we at with that? Well, I say to those people concerned about the Postal Service and some of the comments and efforts by the administration to undercut their service, that, it, that we will get everything uh, so that it is working well uh, come election time. 
the Postal Service is probably the most admired agency of the federal government and has been since the Constitution was written, since the Declaration of Independence. Our ability to deliver mail is key. And the, the people that do that delivery are on the front line and neither rain nor snow nor sleet nor hail really has been the byword. And the president has taken steps and the Republicans have taken steps to really undercut uh, the Postal Service. And as a consequence, uh, the House is going to reconvene uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I think, of this week uh, to take some measures to uh, make sure that there isn't sabotage uh, to the Postal Service. But even with all the efforts by the president to try to suppress the vote uh, and to do things uh, to the Postal Service, I think the Postal Service is going to stand strong. In Colorado, uh, our uh, vote by mail has been one of the best uh, examples of allowing people to have a voice through their vote because uh, so many people have taken advantage of it. And I know that will hold true in this election as well, but we're gonna make sure of it. So that's why uh, we're reconvening uh, later this week uh, to make sure there aren't any shenanigans uh, being played with the post office. Yeah, I know you're a very hard worker and you got a lot juggling, you're juggling right now. So I so appreciate you taking the time to, uh, to talk to us and uh, share your insights. Always well, a pleasure, thank you. John, thank you. And uh, you know, uh, this pandemic, we've talked about it before, uh, it's not an easy thing for any of us, uh, but we will get through it. And uh, we will get through it in a way that I think will ultimately make this country stronger. And uh, so I'm optimistic about all this, but we got to deal with a few uh, uh, bits of chaos right now, but we'll get through this. So thank you. Thank you.